Ciao. My name is Zachary and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get your permesso di soggiorno. This is a basically your residence permit for living in Italy. Now this video is specifically for students. I'm not sure about how to do different visas for different applications. I do know how to do the student visa because I am a student at the Politecnico di Milano. Also, I'm gonna try to say this in the most clear, quick way, because there's a lot of different steps that you have to follow. So please feel free if you need to pause and replay the video in order to get all the information. Step number one, the only fun part of this whole entire annoying process is you need to get four colored photographs of yourself. The quickest way to get photographs of yourself in Milan is in all the major train stations, there's gonna be these photo booths that will say Foto Tessera on it. Just go ahead and go in there. You need to bring, normally you need to bring cash. So they cost about 10 euros and basically like a photo booth. However, you can't have fun in the picture, just sit there. Next step, you need to go to your local tobacco store, Tabacaria. There'll be a bunch of stores that'll say Tabacaria or Tabaki for short. And you basically need to purchase this stamp called the Marco da Bolo. Basically, it's like ta a tax stamp for your uh, permesso. At the Tabaki, once you ask for the Marco da Bolo, there's gonna be two different ones. There's gonna be a two year old one and a 16 year old one. Choose the 16 year old one. Now, one of my favorite places to hang out is called the Poste Italiane. This is where you move on to the next step. As you can see by these beautiful reviews of how great of a service it is. No. So the Poste Italiane is stressful, it's annoying, and the service isn't that great. But you have to do it. Okay, great. So now you're in the Poste Italiane. Your first step is to please grab a number from this little box thing before you do anything. This is gonna put you in line for when you're next to see the person at the little, um, the little desk or the little aisle things. Go ahead and ask for the permesso di soggiorno kit, the applicazione. I'm gonna put Italian in the bio. That's gonna help you be able to request this specific document. Once you're able to do that, you can just ask. You can just like walk up there and ask to grab an application. You have your number, you have your application, and you also have the template that you downloaded that shows you how to fill out the permesso and every single uh, spot that you need to fill out. Go ahead and take everything out of the kit. Please do not seal the envelope. Um, once you finish filling out the application, you'll wait till your number uh, shows up on the screen or is called. You then will go up to the specific person and you will give them the documents and the kit. Now you're not done yet. Once you submit the documents to the person, the person will go through each one of the documents to make sure that you have it. And you will also need to fill out this thing called the Bolentino. This is basically a little slip that basically you use to pay for the permesso. And there's a specific way to fill out the Bolentino. I'll put everything in the link below, or I believe it's actually in the template itself. And you have to pay, I believe, 70 euros and 46 cents or something like that. Double check because the price may change. Like I said, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, so double check on the price. Go ahead and fill out the Bolentino. And you're not done yet. Then the person will give you a basically like a receipt. And on this receipt, it's going to have a basically a confirmation that you paid for it. I have to look at mine right now. Specific time, you're going to go to the specific police station and hand them this receipt and your passport.
The next step is you need to go to the commissariato, which is basically the police station. Now this is where my antidote comes in. I went to the commissariato 10 times. So this is to tell you how many times or how inefficient this system is. I went 10 times because every time that I went, there was some issue. Now, when you go to the commissariato, the reason why you're there is you need to get your fingerprints done and they just need to confirm that it's basically you. Now, every time I would go there, they would have a problem with their system. Something was broken. Something was having this issue. All these different types of things. So just be prepared for that and also be prepared for chaos. So at my commiss commissariato, the way it worked is everybody stands outside and one little lady, well in this case, one little Italian lady comes out and all the migrants, immigrants, I'm an immigrant, expats, whatever you want to call them, people trying to renew their passports, shoves their paper basically in her hand. Maybe different at different police stations, but this is how the police station worked at mine. So you give the document to the person that comes out of the police station and they will tell you if they're able to take your fingerprints at that time. If not, they will reprint a different time or they'll just tell you to come back in a week and actually, hopefully you're able to take your fingerprints. Now, if they tell you that their systems are broken and to come back the next day, don't come back until at least a couple of days, just to be honest, You'll, your time will be wasted. I'm just trying to save you some time. Let's say that you are able to skip the whole BS process that I had to deal with when I first got my permesso and you're able to take your fingerprints. Perfect. So now they take everything and they basically tell you that they're going to send a text message. <laughs> I know, it's a lot of steps. Okay, now this text message, there is no time frame. For example, I was told in December, I think it was in December, I got my fingerprints done and they said that it should be done in about two weeks. I would get a text message in two weeks. I didn't get a text message until late January. So it was almost two months later. So it was at the beginning of December. So you'll get a text. So then the text will tell you what day you need to go back to the commissariato to be able to pick up your official permesso di soggiorno. So um, you should be able to check online with some of the receipts that you received to see what it looks like of like the process of your document. It's not the most reliable. However, after that time, once you get the text message, you're gonna go there with your passport and your identification and your receipts. Just bring everything with you. And then you should get your permesso di soggiorno. Welcome to Italy. please feel free to DM me at designerboy420. I'm sorry if I don't get to you right away. I do have a lot of DMs that I have to go through and hopefully I can be able to help you. Now, just to be make you aware, this process, there's not a lot that you can do. It's literally a waiting game. You have no control and you have no, you basically have no control. So if it doesn't work exactly how you think it's gonna work with time frame, don't worry, it's not your fault. It's also, you guys, please in the comments below, please share some of your stories of Poste Italiane. If you have any questions or if you have any other issues that you think other people can benefit from learning about, please put in the comments below. I kind of want to start this comment section as like a little thing to be able to help other people. All right, please subscribe and follow me at designerboy420 and I will see you next time.